Good evening. It has been a day of record-breaking temperatures across the United Kingdom, more than 40 degrees Celsius for the first time. The UK's top temperature today was in Coningsby in Lincolnshire, where it hit 40.3 degrees, according to the provisional figures. But more than 30 weather stations across England beat the previous record of 38.7 set in July 2019. And Scotland had its hottest day ever. 34.8 degrees Celsius was recorded in Charterhall in the Borders. Let's join our climate editor, Justin Rowlatt. Well, I'm in the Botanic Garden in Cambridge and it was a thermometer in this box behind me that recorded the previous all-time record temperature in the UK back in July 2019. Now, that has been comprehensively smashed today. It's a significant moment, but it's by no means a surprise. Climate change, climate scientists have been saying for years the UK would see new record temperatures and the reason's very simple. The greenhouse gases created when we burn fossil fuels trap heat in the atmosphere, raising global temperatures. With today's searing heat came fires and lots of them. Huge plumes of smoke rose above London as grass fires engulfed homes on the outskirts of the capital. The London Fire Brigade declared a major incident. A number of the calls that we've been dealing with today have, uh, have been wildfires or grass fires in particular where the ground has been tinderbox dry as a result of the weather that we've experienced over the last week, but in particular over the last two days. Temperature records were tumbling before midday today. The 39.1 degrees recorded at Charlwood near Gatwick Airport was a warning of what was to come. Within an hour, another record had been set at another airport, 40.2 degrees Celsius at Heathrow. By mid-afternoon, we got a new provisional heat record for the UK when Coningsby in Lincolnshire reached 40.3 degrees Celsius. And there was a new provisional record for Scotland too, incinerating the previous record. We've been beating records by one and a half, two degrees, and really quite an extensive region of over 35 degrees. And this is really unusual. These are high temperatures over a broad area in England, so quite surprising. Just look how today's temperatures compare to previous records. In 1976, it peaked just shy of 36 degrees. It was 27 years before that record was broken. 16 years after that, it hit 38.7 Celsius. Just three years later, and we've got today's new record. Who would have thought over 40 degrees in the UK? And it isn't just getting hotter. Years ago, temperatures would only reach peaks like this in the far south. But look how these high temperatures are moving north and west across the country. The heat is getting more intense and it is spreading. And, say climate scientists, we need to prepare for more record temperatures in the coming years. As weather thermometers breached the 40 degrees mark for the first time in Britain, London was burning. In Wennington, on the capital's far eastern edge, a small fire in a back garden quickly turned to an inferno that ripped through several properties, including... Well, it's not just the UK that has been hit by these scorching temperatures. Western Europe is in the grip of a ferocious heat wave. Have a look at this map and you can see just how extreme temperatures have been over the past week. In Portugal, it has hit 47 degrees. That is a record for Portugal in the month of July. Spain reached 45 degrees last Wednesday. It was a little cooler in Germany today at 39 degrees. But in France, Parisians have been sweltering in 41 degrees and huge wildfires have been sweeping through the southwest of France. Let's go back now to our climate editor, Justin Rolla. And Justin, more than 40 degrees today in the UK. What does it tell us about the future? Well, we have known for days that these dangerous temperatures were on our way. We've had time to prepare for them, but look at the impact they've had. We've had those wildfires. We've seen railways and other services down. Schools closed early. Many workers had to leave early to avoid the heat of the day. Many of our towns and cities were empty. Now, some people are gonna say, we've overreacted. But for lots of older people and people with underlying illnesses, they will really have, suffer have suffered in this sweltering heat. Some of them will have died. And climate scientists are absolutely clear. They say, unless we do more to tackle climate change, heat waves like this will become more frequent and they will also 
get hotter. Sophie. Justin, thank you.